and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Action Abyss. I always love playing Howling Abyss decks and I felt like playing kind of maybe one that should be a little bit more in meme tier Monday instead of in ranked, but oh well, you know, we're going to play it in ranked, especially now that we just got to Diamond uh, after our last deck, so we can't go any lower right at the beginning of Diamond, so that's perfect. So we're playing uh, 38 Shurima cards, 37, sorry, 37 Shurima cards and the three Howling Abyss. And the goal here is to have Howling Abyss create random level two champions, and we're going to buff them up with all the ways to buff them up. We got Siphoning Strike, granting our allied champions everywhere plus two, plus two. We got Herald of the Magus, granting them plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. And then we also have Action that once Action levels up and creates the Warlord's Horde, and then that uh, countdowns, then we'll have the Shield of the Sentinel, granting them Spell Shield and plus two, plus two. So we can have a lot of different ways to grant them plus two, plus two. Uh, we're going to have Herald, of, like supporting both Herald of the Magus when I was putting this together and Action is kind of tough. It's kind of tough, and that's why I couldn't really fit in another champion to go along with the action. Plus, since we're playing Golden Ambassador, it's nice that we always want to draw the action because we want to get that um, Warlord's Horde started. We have Hourglasses in here. This card's going to be really good with, with action to protect action, but then also with Herald, because Herald is a summon ability, so we can get you know more Heralds with the Hourglasses. That should be pretty nice. Um, but we got a lot of different landmarks like ways to put landmarks into play we have ride of the arcane and unleashed energy to destroy them i think i'd rather play desert naturalist most of the time instead of unleashed energy but we're going with this because this is a card that supports both herald and action right it does it does both right it's a target for action it's uh it can be landmark destruction for herald so i kind of felt like that could do a little bit of both so we're going to be playing that card and that's kind of about it so Let's see how we can do. Let's see if we can get some a bunch of really big level two champions. Hopefully we don't die too fast. <laughs> Hopefully. But we can't go any lower. So all good. Tom Kench Soraka. Soraka Tom Kench. So Soraka Tom Kench will likely have three mana card from Tarkon that draws a landmark or destroys a landmark. And so that's bad news because that can destroy my Howling Abyss. And that'd make me sad. Keep this though. I think we're going to need the card advantage. I like the pump spell. Things. Unfortunately, they they always have three Guiding Touch, three Pale Cascade, so I can't actually attack. To heal and protect. Be at peace. Take heart. Rock is really difficult to play against. Would you look at this place? I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Gonna catch the sky. So I guess I can destroy the Warlord's Palace. It's plus four, plus two to kill Tom Kench. I mean, this will die. I could just sacrifice my action to get another one of those counting down, but this will die even through Pill Cascade. That's why I have to... I, I Obviously, I'd rather have the action strike, but we have to have that die through Pill Cascade. All right, so they've had both champions. And they've had Krusty Codger, the two mana for Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, and then Sir Rocket Tom Kench. So they've had, you know, exactly what you could hope for. Hand wise. You leave me no choice. Where are you 
Lofty! Live with purpose. Man, I guess I let this action just die. I know I could hourglass it, but it's honestly probably not worth it. Alright, so we're helping Soraka level up by these blocks. I don't, I don't like that. I don't really like anything. <laughs> oh no, they have a Star Spring. Uh, I don't like any options that we'd have. Yeah, this is this is bad. Great hand, opponent. Great hand. It's a good. That's a good deck that that uh, when you have a hand like this, that can really just throw everything off. So we have to hope that we get saved by Howling Abyss. Be a champion that can remove a landmark. See, if we had Desert Naturalist, Desert Naturalist, we would be able to blow up their Star Spring and life would be a lot better. <laughs> Star Spring, aka Old School Bandle Tree. Basically. Doesn't really help. Starlight. Should have stayed home, pal. Take heart. I mean, obviously, Soraka is just going to kill us with all the card draw and everything if I don't do anything about it, but uh, we're probably still going to die. Obviously, they're going to have, like, ways to keep Soraka alive. We can try to Siphoning Strike as well. We can try to do 14 damage to Soraka, but there's a good chance that they could just keep Soraka alive through 14 damage. Oh, right, they just do that anyway. All right, well... Alright, great hand opponent. Great hand. Yeah, like, attacking's really bad, blocking's really bad, playing any type of spells really bad. That deck can just be brutal. Alright, so we're playing against uh, the bad version of Bandle Burn that a lot of people have other people play not not my cool version of Vandal Burn that we just played at last uh, video. Got a good opener for action for advancing the Warlord's Palace and everything. Rider of the Arcane can just be a removal spell that we need against both champions. Even though oh there we go. I was gonna say that I don't have a landmark that we want to destroy. I guess we won't really have a landmark that we want to destroy anyway, because this is going to go away before Right of the Arcane. What wondrous discoveries await for love? I got an idea. Hug it out. My research! have this thing leveled up or like just have the countdown going never seen a contraption like this before <laughs> if they don't break they'll burn make the empire proud right the fuse Fire! 
want to see Magus. Magus would be good to see. Alright, let's go ahead and predict draw a card. There is a Magus. Alright, so we're at what? Oh, only three out of four? Okay, so what am I doing this round? Play that, play that, then we play that, then play that. Okay. This requires my largest official hat. The old band the old Bandle City Mayor create loping telescope line. <laughs> Don't you love when your opponent gives you the crying face whenever they're like incredibly far ahead and they have like no chance of losing the game? And yet they give you the crying face. <laughs> Gotta love it. I know I, I probably should be playing this deck on a meme tier day, but we can't go any lower in the rank. Uh, we need we need more time. All right, I like the Bomber Twins. Just start off with that thing. The Unleashed Energies have looked really bad, right? Like we haven't been able to have like landmarks that we want to destroy yet. This is maybe our best chance so far. And I knew Unleashed Energy wasn't going to be very good in our deck. It's just it helps, you know, it helps both aspects of what we're trying to do with the Magus and the action. So this we have, you know, it's always nice to have action on two, yes, but, you know, it's we'd rather trade these things away than action. I guess we have to trade something away. Alright, we already have those on two and three. We don't really need any more of those right now. Cool. Get this place. Me. Mm. I will run you over. Their deck is built around, you know, challenging stuff. If I don't have my 3-1 trade there, then they probably have, like, Sivir or Renekton uh, easily kill the 3-1 with that uh, vulnerable. Kind of wasting a lot of damage there, but I like getting Renekton out here. I know it's getting a 5-3. I think those are good things. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Where are we at? Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Just don't have any champions. Don't have Renekton or Sivir or Zedwani, please. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Well, that's too bad. Business as usual. I don't think we can <laughs> really beat Sivir, unfortunately. I don't know why they're trading here, except for I guess it does damage to help Sivir out. Okay, that's still not that bad. Alright, what will we get for a champion? 
Hopefully something good. Lux. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Hmm. The joys of home. We're really bad at blocking. I think we've kind of learned. Okay, big as real. Renekton, I found something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Get him, Lux. Danger pays. We'll get our licks in. I am their end. Oh, that's a good question. Is is matchmaking cross region? Was the question. And I'm not exactly sure. All right, so they have quicksand. This is my choice. We've kind of lost anyway. Please don't have quicksand. I know it was. It wasn't to start with, and it was later. And then it wasn't again. And I don't know right now where they're at with the... Oh, I guess, okay, matchmaking is not cross... Sorry, so sorry. So matchmaking is not cross-region, no. But, um, I guess what I was... Sorry, I was I was thinking the question was... Um, sorry, I was thinking the question was, can you play cross-region? I know you, you can do, like, the friend challenges. At some points that you could do cross region, other times you couldn't. I don't know exactly where don't that sits right now. Things. Who needs a map? Idiot foreigners in over their heads? Why do you ask? Just you and me, fish bones. They have that kill my action. I don't want to give them the vulnerable, of course, to attack with. I guess it doesn't make sense to attack with action. Well, this nah, one's I don't a fighter. Yeah, because they block with both of those, because um, Mystic Shot will kill either one. We had so many troll chains. Do I throw a troll chain? Yet. Down to two. Firing. So it doesn't really make any sense to do that. Save the spell mana. Unleashed energy. Oh, we need we need two spells. Yeah, I need like an hourglass to go along with it. Energy. So sixth health. Six health, six health, four health. That's the most health we can do. I guess I'm just gonna pass priority if that happens, that happens. I'm okay with this. Wow. Okay, so that puts me down to three, but doesn't kill me. If I just had one more mana of spell, also I could uh, level up Lux. Angry guardians, bunch of gold. Good people 
Don't look the other way. All right, so we'll get one spell at the round start that help picks. One spell mana. And that will level up Lux. Or, well, Lux already leveled up, but that will create a final spark. And we can final spark the 2 1 with the Overwhelm. Tarek! I'm ready to shine. So you want to be a sunflower, eh? I don't expect them to be able to do three... Like, I don't expect them to ever, like, a rally. Okay. Alright, we did our thing! How about that? We had Magus... And we did our thing. We had a bunch of uh, bunch of champions. That was awesome. Oh, and that's that's exactly what we play: is removal that deals burn damage. Also, in that Noxus deck, Zareth, Azir, Talia. So are they going to be playing Desert Naturalist that blows up my Howling Abyss? I kind of feel like they are, and I'm going to be sad. This definitely looks like a, a deck that's destroying a lot of their own landmarks. This is definitely another deck, though, that I wish I was playing Desert Naturalist. Like the Star Spring matchup. I really hope they can't kill uh, my Howling Abyss whenever we find it. Okay, so we really need this Endless Devout <laughs> to, to die, uh, you know, so then we have, like, the Ride of the Arcane and things like that. So I really want to get this to, like, four and then start Ancient Hourglassing the Herald, but we're probably going to have to Ancient Hourglass beforehand to get to, to, get to four. Yes, they're going a bunch of countdown on the sun disk, huh? This is probably where I should just be casting an hourglass just to get this to be two out of four. And use two mana. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. Alright, cool. We'll take out this Roiling Sands. That's so two out of four. Perfect. I'll give me another landmark to destroy. I will weave my own. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Taking it back. Watch me. That's three. So we're just going to use one of these hourglasses. Alright, so I'll, I'll only save one hourglass for the Herald. They cannot give Talia Overwhelm. So 
long as they don't give that thing overwhelm. Must be nice living off stolen coin. We'll see which one of us is. You cannot run from absolution. Alright, we actually got the Warlord's Horde in play. Let's start that countdown. Maybe we can get the plus two plus two spell shield also. We've got the plus two plus two overwhelm. Pocket! Thanks that resub pockets for 15 months now. Yeah, Xerath is super easy to level up, and so like that's a really good way to level up Sundisk. Uh, pretty draw card. Another action. Yoink. I guess to take another action because of the grappling hook. Stop. Beware falling rocks. Some rocks just won't sit still. I wanna hug it out. This makes more sense to do this. Yeah, this makes more sense. I'll see about doing the, the action to get an additional countdown, but it probably makes more sense just to get another plus two plus two overwhelmed than an additional countdown. I want to open attack, but In and out. yeah, we'll just open wipe it off. You're ruining everything. You are nothing. How much do we want to keep this warlord toward in play? I guess a lot. I guess we do want to keep it in play. Nope. Because otherwise, I could I could destroy it and give this plus two plus four plus two, and then the vagabond stays alive, and then I could get to cast grappling hook. But this was destroyed. Our city proudly pledges itself to Sharima. Oh, they gave it overwhelm. All right, GGs. They really give it overwhelm. So Zareth, so yeah, so they have two Azir, two Zareth in hand now. Um, wow, so their their deck is two, looks like it's three Zareth, two Azir, one Talia, and so that actually just kind of worked out perfectly for them with uh, the two Sun Discs. So now they'll be able to play Azir. Get level three is here. Oh no, that has to level up first. Never mind. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Water, protect our prosperity. Yep. Ease your worries. The game's over. You know, I just let them do their thing. Level three Zareth is really cool art. Why not just attack with other things too? And... What you have seen today. So two of our losses, if we had Desert Naturalist, it would have made life a lot better. Two of our losses. Why did they, like, why did they just attack with more stuff? If this. This is still probably a loss, right? But why didn't they just attack with these things? We'll see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we met? Villains beware. 
Or they have a backup Zareth and a backup Azir in hand. Azir speaks and I act. That card's good. Will this create another action? Can I just get a Howling Abyss? Come up in soon enough. Lulu Poppy. Alright, I'm not sure if we can stabilize against them. We're gonna need some blockers. So Rock Hopper can block. Ambassador can block. Get us a 4 4 action that can block. Um. I probably shouldn't keep howling. Yeah, I guess we just can't keep howling Abyss in the opener. I really want to. But we probably shouldn't. Okay, cool. We got it back, and we got this uh, endless devout. So we got some blockers. I don't need rules to know good from bad. That's really rough. I go, I go. My board. If only we had the attack token round two, round four, you know, round two, if we could lead with uh, our three one and give the vulnerable to the young witch, life would have been a lot, lot better. It's just pretty risky to try Unleashed Energy with them being Demacia Ionia that has all the uh, different pump spells. You know, like they can easily play Sharp Sight, Twin Disciplines, anything like that. And I just blew up, and then I would have just blown up the Warlord's Horde for kind of nothing at that point. So playing a Preservarium because we can destroy the Preservarium with Unleashed Energy if we need to. Time. Good people don't look the other way. This is justice. Howling a bit. So while I could go Howling Abyss, I think a Rally is pretty likely. And if that's the case, I'd want to try to uh, Siphoning Strike kill the Poppy, which we could still do. Alright, so Unleashed Energy plus Siphoning Strike is 8 mana. 6. Man, that's so easy for them to stay alive. That's the reason why I should have done the siphoning strike first, so then I could have had the 5-2 as a blocker. It's so easy for them to keep their poppy alive, all they have to do is just have a twin disciplines. But I guess we force them to have it, question mark? Or I just kill Young Witch? Don't like this. So if I would have started with that, if I would have been more proactive, they may not have used their rally, but then I would have had my 5-2 to be able to block instead of just having to use this to block. Yeah, do they, if they have another, I mean, if they have another rally, it's game anyway. 
find his keepers. But it looks like it's just game anyway. Dude, these hands. So our deck, you know, our deck is pretty janky, right? We're we're playing in ranked, we're playing against really good decks, but they are all doing exactly what they want, whether they, you know, curve out with like Soraka and Tom Kench, um, you know, and and Star Spring or just anything. If you just look at like just how these curve outs have been, man, they have been really rough because we need our opponents to stumble, right? Because our deck's janky. <laughs> like this, this should be a meme tier deck. We need to, we need our opponents to stumble and give us time. But man, these opponents are not stumbling. You know, even like the Buried Sun Disc deck. The usually, you know, Buried Sun Disc decks like they take longer, but still, even them, you know, like they had multiple of like countdowns to count it down, and, and then plus the one of Talia that copied it. Um, that that was really cool. Like even them, they did exactly what they wanted to do. So we got a win. I'm happy with that. I'm happy we got a win, and we were able to do Howling Abyss one time. Um, that was that was cool. This deck is not as good as these top tier meta decks, that's for sure. And uh, at least we got to do our things one time. But uh, these aggressive decks are definitely going to be better, especially when they're when they're not stumbling. We need them to stumble. We need them not to have a good hand. And they that wasn't the case. They had good hands. So, GGs. The thing is, is like the the difficult part with this deck. The reason why I think that that my version is struggling here is because it's so difficult to get the shield of the sentinel and yeah if you don't if you don't really care about the shield of the sentinel we can make that better right because like unleashed energy isn't a very good card right like it's not but if maybe if you just only care about herald and you just don't really care about trying to get to the shield of the sentinel with action we could probably do better if we just you know if yeah we want to play like sivir with herald and just focus more on that and just just worry about herald with abyss that's probably the thing. It's just it's so hard to to get to the shield because you have to go so, so yeah it's it's difficult with that. So if you just don't if you don't want to play vagabond, uh, you know don't worry you know then you don't have to play vagabond. Don't have to play golden ambassador. Um, you know you can play Sivir, You can play like uh, some Freljord cards. Also since you're not playing golden ambassador like troll chant, they could they could really help out. So yeah you could you could probably do that kind of stuff. If you don't, if you don't want to worry about trying to get to shield and make a uh, probably a better deck, but you know, that wasn't what I was trying to do. All right, but anyway, that's gonna be it here for Action Abyss. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, uh, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. If you uh, you know want to try out this deck, like I said, this this should have been meme tier. Um, I knew that from the beginning, but we couldn't lose any rank. So we tried in ranked, and uh, we had opponents have really good ranked hands. But if we, you know, if we're gonna have our opponents have really great ranked hands against us with one of these three decks, might as well have been this one anyway, <laughs> right? All right, but that's it for this this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.